we're going to take a look at my Kameez Banjalele. So you may have seen my Banjalele, it's featured in a different video where I talk about Kameez ukuleles. Um, but I have had a few requests to talk just about a Banjalele. Um, so first of all, what is a Banjalele? Well, it is a hybrid between a ukulele and a banjo. It's got a banjo body, and it sounds like a banjo, but it's got a ukulele neck and fretboard, so therefore you play it the same as a ukulele. So the banjolele's early 1900s invented, became really, really popular in the 1920s and 1930s, especially in the UK, with the likes of George Formby playing them. Um, and as, as you heard in the intro, they really do sound quite different to a ukulele. So if we take a closer look at the instrument itself for a minute, obviously it's got the rounded body and something that can really only be described as similar to a drum head. And that's what gives the banjolele a very distinctive sound. Um, you've got the sides and then you've got these clamps which hold the instrument together. You have a removable back. There are screws all around there in case you need to um, get inside for any reason. And then if we look, the actual frets, it's the same scale as a concert ukulele. Um, in terms of it being different to play, it's the same chords. You don't have um, a strap button on the bottom of a banjolele, you tend to get an actual banjo strap which has got the little sort of hooks on the end, okay? And in fact, I bought this one oh, about four years ago um, and I bought two more for school a couple of years ago. So this isn't the only Kameez banjolele um, that I've played and set up and things. So when the banjolele arrived, the bridge wasn't fitted. Um, how do you fit a banjolele bridge? It's not that difficult, okay? Um, think of it, it's a bit like a violin or a cello bridge. They're not attached to the instrument. You need to put them on there. Um, I believe these days when you buy a Kameez banjolele, it comes with um, a plastic strip that you fit on the fingerboard and it shows you the measurement exactly where to put the bridge. Um, I didn't have that strip when I had this one. Um, so the way I did it was you have to measure from the nut to the 12th fret and whatever measurement that is, and I believe on this one it was about 9 centimetres, you then measure that 9 centimetres from the 12th fret down and that's where the bridge goes. It's not that difficult to do, all right? And then when the strings are loose, you pop the bridge underneath. As you tighten the strings, the pressure holds the bridge in place, okay? Right, so it is a Kameez banjolele I got, therefore I'm gonna sort of do a little review on. Um, this was actually one of the first ukuleles or banjolele um, that I bought. Um, like many people, I was having a little look on eBay one day and saw those and thought, oh, I had no idea what a banjolele was. I had a quick look and thought, oh, that sounds quite interesting. And it cost just over 50 pounds. Now, bearing in mind that was four years ago, I believe the current price for just the instrument, not the starter set with the case and everything else, is about 55, 56 pounds. So um, in terms of value for money, I was really, really impressed. In fact, I actually ended up, once this had arrived, um, I ended up looking at Kameez as a brand and discovered they sold other ukuleles and have since bought literally dozens of them because we use Kameez ukuleles in school. So as a brand, I, I can really recommend them, okay? So their actual banjolele, is it worth it? 50, I think it was 52 pounds when I bought it. It was just the instrument. I didn't buy the case. I know they do sell it as a package as well. Just for information, um, these do fit into mandolin cases. We've got a mandolin in the house. Um, so I've sort of borrowed that case for this a couple of times. Um, right, overall, 
when it first arrived um, as I said I put the bridge on it wasn't difficult to do um, it was pretty much set up then no sharp frets if I come in a bit closer for a minute you're gonna see there is actually an edging on the fingerboard all right so no sharp frets at all and I've had this for four years now so they're not sprouting out or anything if I turn it the other way around you will see it does have fret markers so that's really good um, they are closed tuners and branded on the back this is one of the older models so it has the sticker for the Camise brand I'm not sure if they've got inlaid ones now I know the newer ukuleles have done that um, the body is a laminate sable um, obviously sides and back the front is um, the head of it which is a, a plastic composite of some kind and then you've got these metal clamps which hold the head or the rim holding the head down um, all the way around the ukulele um, and as I mentioned it's a concert scale I believe I'm not a banjolele expert but I believe you can get tenor scales um, and there are quite a few makes of banjolele as well I was drawn to this one purely because of the great value it offered so do I think it's worth the 50 odd pounds that I paid for it definitely um, it opened my eyes to the banjolele um, and I don't play it all that often but I do have great fun and I know the two that we've got in school the students absolutely love playing them so back to the um, overall setup of it it had a nice low action at the 12th fret which meant I could play it straight away um, I never did actually get a strap for it so I do tend to play it without a strap okay um, because of the banjo sound it produces really quite a loud tone to it but of course it does sound very very different to a normal ukulele so we'll do a little sound comparison now so first banjolele and a normal concert ukulele very different and there is actually quite a difference in the level of volume they produce in as well the banjolele is much louder than this ukulele and this isn't the quietest concert ukulele the actual chords you play um, on a banjolele make a difference as well it was made to play seventh chords dominant sevenths all right um, if we take when I'm cleaning windows as an example we've got G G7 C A7 G E7 G diminished and then back to G again now I've actually done two play along versions on my ukuleleans channel for George Formby's when I'm cleaning windows I'm actually playing the one in G at the minute because that's the one we play in school it's slightly easier so I'll try and play through it and just call out chords just to give you an idea so it's in we're doing it in G G to start G7 C A7 G E7 G dim G B7 with seventh chords so there we go that's my Camis or Kamis uh, Banjolele um, <clears throat> would I recommend it or would I buy another one well I've already bought another two for school I think for the price they are they're excellent value they're very playable I'm not going to pretend they're the best Banjolele out there and I'm no Banjolele expert all right but I think for a starter place for a Banjolele this is really a great buy 
So as always, I do hope you've enjoyed and you've learned something about banjolelis today. Um, you know what to do if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free to leave it below. Give us a like uh, if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more ukulele videos. Thank you for watching.